simultaneous equations. Now, many of us have been spoiled to believe that we can only be tested on simultaneous equations. Yes, where one equation is linear and the second quadratic, but where there's no fraction. And what made last year's paper a little bit more challenging is they threw in a fraction two-thirds if one made y the subject of the formula. One needs to be careful in working with fractions. When you now take the square, you need to be careful to put that in a bracket for y as a whole, 2x over 3. And that being squared is going to give you 4x squared over 9. Many candidates forgot to put that 9 in. From there onwards, it's the usual substitution into the quadratic equation, and you will get the result by factorizing the quadratic. So I'm just hurrying you through those to mention the important points to be looking out for. 1.3. The question read that you had to calculate, calculate the integer that is closest. And I want to underline that it's the closest approximation to the fraction that's been given. What is the fraction that they gave you? The fraction is 5 to the exponent 2007 plus 5 to the exponent 2010 divided by the other 2. Now, it's obvious that the smallest number would be 5 to the power 2007. And in that case, you could go and equate that as your common factor or the number which is contained by all the others. So if you take 5 to the power 2010 and you compare it with that which you regarded as common, it's multiplication of 5 to the 2007 times 5 to the power 3. So if we can write that down, not forgetting that we have plus signs separating those terms, we would now take that common factor, 5 to the 2007, which if you so wish, you could also call x. And by taking that out, and just going back to what you had in the previous step, you will notice that 5 to the 2007 for the first term is exactly that term. So what are you left with in the bracket? A 1. You repeat those pluses because they're not cancelling, they're not disappearing, and you're dividing that back into the top, and you find that you're left with 5 to the 3, and at the bottom, 5 plus 5 squared. <coughs> Simplifying that fraction, you would get 126 over 30, which is a decimal 4,2. But notice the question read, go and get the integer closest. That means the nearest integer to that decimal answer will be 4. And many learners lost a mark at that point for not getting the correct answer as 4 and not 4, 2. So I've just given you in that particular question, question 1, a few ideas on strategy, what to look for and how to go about solving. 